So reseeding obviously is a very important uh, thing to do in the farm in terms of regenerating grassland and maximizing the productivity of every hectare with good grassland species that will get good intakes, good milk production and everything else. So when you're going about reseeding it's obviously a very expensive process. In the background we have machinery working here which is obviously costing so much per acre or per hectare to work and we want to make sure we protect that investment as much as we can by maximizing the return we get out of it. So you're investing in machinery and the activity of reseeding, you're investing in the grass seed, you're investing in the sprays and really a key point as well is that we invest in the soil that we're trying to grow that grass seed in to get the best return that we can and to maximize the germination and the success of that sward when it emerges. Two key things I want to highlight. First of all is the importance of soil pH and lime, critical in any grassland soil, in any grassland sward. And receding is a perfect time to address either low soil pH where that's an issue by working lime into the ground as per the soil test results and the lime requirement that's indicated on that. And secondly, even in situations where we have behind us, we're working, uh, we're not ploughing, we're working the reseed in by a direct drilling process, that leaves a lot of trash at the surface, can create a lot of organic acids, and that means it can put a bit of extra pressure on the surface acidity. So even, even low rate application of granulated limes or lime conditioners, or full rate application of lime where the pH is low, very important for reseeding. The second thing to get right is your fertilizer at the point of reseeding. And one nutrient which is particularly important for new swords is phosphorus. Phosphorus is very important for cell division, for rooting, for tillering, all of the processes which are essential to get a sward up and running. So phosphorus in the seabed is very important. Where soil indexes are good, up to 30 kilos per hectare or 25 units per acre of phosphorus is important to apply in the seedbed. Uh, higher rates, pearl indexes are lower, so an extra, an extra 10 kilos per hectare in index 2 or an extra 20 kilos per hectare in index 1 because phosphorus is so important for the, for the early seedlings, for germination and for establishment. Nitrogen and, and potassium and sulphur go in around that as well. K will usually go into the seedbed with, with potash at a ratio of about 1 to 2, so about 50 to 60 kilos per hectare of K with phosphorus. And nitrogen generally about target about 60 to 70 kilos per hectare of, of nitrogen in the first six weeks, split about 50% in the seedbed and topped up by another 50% uh, four to five weeks later. And it's somewhere in there if you can balance the nitrogen rate with sulphur at a ratio of about 10 to 1, that should ensure a good return on investment from all the costs of receding by making sure the soil fertility is adequate and give the sward the best chance it can.